Oh my goodness, guys. Gucci, Jimmy Choo, Christian Dior, and Manolo Blahnik. What do all four of those things have in common? I found them at the bins, and I'm gonna show you in this haul. But there is a catch, so make sure to stick around. Hi friends, my name is Maria, and I am a part-time reseller, full-time mom, full-time wife, full-time worker, and full-time everything else. I have a great big bins haul to show you guys today. I've got this Goodwill bag stocked with things that I got. And since I love a nice big old haul, I am very excited and we are going to dig right into it. So cue the intro. I know I look absolutely ridiculous in this video. These sold, I think overnight. All right guys, if you have been watching my channel, you know that I like to find bins locations wherever I am at and see what treasures I can find. I do get to travel some for work. So this time I was in St. Louis, Missouri and stopped by the local bins there and every bins is different. It's so much fun to see kind of how each location runs things differently. So I was in St. Louis for about a week, but obviously I'm there for work. I had a very busy schedule. So only on my first travel day was I able to stop by. I just had a couple hours. So I'll share some goods and bads about what I thought about this location as we go. But keep in mind for this trip, I bought 39 items to resell and my cost of goods for that is $1.19 a pound. I do tend to look for lighter weight, smaller items when I have to travel with everything back to Maryland where I live because usually I just throw like an extra duffel bag in my suitcase that I can check on my way back to get everything back home with me. Okay, I got some clothes on the top, so let's go through those and then I'll show you some of the like things, accessories that I bought. Okay, one item that I was really excited about when I found these is these pair of black denim long overalls. They have cut off bottom hems. They have a really cute like open back style to them. And these are Madewell. So I have never found Madewell overalls of any sort. These are size small, so they're really tempting to wear first, but we're in like spring or summer, so that'd be kind of difficult. What do you guys think about selling Madewell denim? I maybe have mine like listed too high because I kept hearing good things about Madewell. So I've sold a couple pieces, but we're gonna see how these do. Now I have not yet looked up comps for any of these items, at least as I've been typing them in my inventory because I haven't done that yet. I might've looked up comps like while I was there to see if I was gonna purchase them or not, but I'm not sure what I'm going to list these at. And anything as we go through that I'm talking about list prices are before I research anything, I'm just kind of making guesses. All right, the next thing is pretty basic. Um, I went back and forth about buying this, but I did end up getting it. This is J. Jill. I'm hoping you guys can see this, that it's not being too washed out. So this is J. Jill um, and it's their Pure Jill line because this is their Lux Tinsel fabric. So this is incredibly soft, very soft, very stretchy. Um, it does have side slits, which I think people just like, um, kind of makes them a little bit more loose and flowy and boho. This would be really great over a pair of like jeans or even some leggings. And yeah, this is 60% tensile lyocell, which is a really nice fabric. J. Jill, for something like this, I'll probably start at like 28. So I flew into St. Louis, and before I went to check in my hotel, I came right to the bins location. And I got there like mid-afternoon, um, or maybe it was early afternoon, actually, because I was on a pretty early flight that day. And I was there for like an hour or so, I was taking my time, I had gotten lunch, I was gonna go work out afterwards, could get everything ready for the week. And then they're like, all right, we're closing in 10 minutes. And I was like, it's like one o'clock. What are we doing? What are we doing? Um, so I was, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to sort my car. I didn't have enough stuff. <laughs> like, so then I found out they close for two hours to like reset all the bins. They don't do change outs throughout the day. Instead they close and then they kick everybody out and then they let everybody back in. So they were letting everybody back in at three and then they were going to close again for the day at six. So I was like, oh, great, what do I do now? I'm not gonna sit in the parking lot for two hours, but I wanted to spend more. I was only there for maybe an hour. So I decided to leave, check in at my hotel. Um, I actually did do a quick workout for the day and then I came back at three. But when I came back, I went straight for the shoes because I wanted to see what I could find because this was a really big location, but I also knew shoes are hard to transport. So I ended up picking up just a pair of little Nikes 
and these are pretty muddy yes i know but my goal for these is i'm gonna throw them in the wash because i do wash shoes like this just make sure to not put them in the dryer and then if they do clean up really nicely i'll probably list them around 30 and these little nikes tend to sell between 20 and 30 for me if they don't clean up i'm just gonna hold on to them for my son so either way it is a win for me all right, the only other pair of shoes I got ended up being these little Michael Kors sandals. Just a really like classic, you know, style. Um, they do have the sticker on them, but that's going to come off with a little bit of goo gone. So they're in pretty nice condition. These are size 7, so I thought about keeping them. Um, I do like Michael Kors, but these were ended up being a little bit too small. So I will list those and see what happens. These are Michael, Michael Kors, which is the diffusion line. This looks like a TJ Maxx sticker to me as a self-proclaimed TJ Maxx anista. Um, so that does, you know, reduce the value a little bit since they are the diffusion line, um, but they'll still probably sell, you know, between 20 and 25. All right. This was so pretty. Who can tell what this is? It should be fairly obvious. This is obviously the Ariel top. And there were two um, teenage looking girls across from me digging through a bin at some point. And one of them picked this up and saw this. She was like, oh my gosh, look how great that is. And I was like, I saw it immediately. And then she even said like, oh, this is branded Disney. You know, this isn't just a, a knockoff costume. This is actually a Disney branded Ariel costume. Um, and her friend was like, oh, that's so cute. And then they kind of tossed it to the side. From what I could tell, this looked a little bit too large um, for both of them. And I said, hey, are you are you gonna get that? And she said, no, do you want it? And I said, yes, please. And she threw it over to me. Um, so I think right now with the Little Mermaid movie just coming out, I, I think someone's gonna like this. Um, this is a size extra large so at the very least maybe by halloween time um someone could wear that as a costume the other two things i found in the shoe rotation were just two little hats i do really well with camo hats um this is just the the dodge logo right there i sold a ford camo hat once super quick so we'll see how dodge does um the the goodwill had this price for four dollars and six cents anybody surprised it didn't sell I'm not surprised it didn't sell. And this is a 2A, um, I'm not really sure, hat. But I looked it up because a lot of times these like outdoorsy, military-ish stuff can do pretty well. I like grabbing hats at the bins because they lower my average cost of goods. They're so light. They were easy for me to transport back. And if I can make $10 on both of these, that would be great. They'll probably both be listed around 18 to 21-ish. All right, next thing I have is some more clothes. This is Karen Kane, which I believe is sold at Nordstrom. This is a size medium, and it's just a lightweight sweater with like the pop-out blouse under it. The only reason I grabbed this is because I have had, I think, three Karen Kane pieces listed, and they've all sold really well. So I'm just like continuing to experiment with Karen Kane. I won't pick it up all the time or at every price point, but this just helps me to continue on that experimental journey. All right, this might be a bad buy. We are going to see, but this, if you can tell, let me even find it here. Dun, 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 dun. I can't see it. There it is. Oh my goodness. This is a true religion beanie, but it's not in the best condition. <laughs> so it needs a sweater shave for sure. And then I'll trim some of these ones that have kind of gotten a little out of control. True religion hats, um, can do really well, especially baseball hats. I don't think beanies are necessarily in that category, but I do think it'll sell if I can get it a little bit perked up. So we're gonna see how that goes. This was one of my favorite finds of the day and it's going to be very difficult to show you in frame. So I'm very sorry for it, but this is sanctuary. Sanctuary is hit or miss for me. I have some things that just sit and sit and sit and then I have other things that sell, but this is a full length maxi dress. Really, really cute. Um, it is a size large, and on the bottom, it has a contrasting print, and it has like an asymmetrical handkerchief bottom, which I think is really nice and a lot of people like. So I picked this up and I was already liking the design of it, and then when I checked the tag and saw it was Sanctuary, I figured that would be a safe bet. So I'm hoping to get on the higher end of Sanctuary, maybe between like 30 and 50 for that one, but that might be shooting a little high. We will see. This was probably my most interesting find of the day, potentially. 
Um, this is from the brand Thurston London. And these are suspenders, obviously. And I saw the Great Britain tag on there, which I thought was um, a good sign. They seemed like they were in really nice condition and they have this really pretty pattern on them. And I've seen some kind of random suspenders or belts or printed stuff like this do well for other resellers. So I was like, let me look this up. So I looked these up and yeah, there seems to be some pretty good comps. So for as light as these are, if I could get $30 out of these, um, it's fun to learn new things and try new things, at least for me. Okay, I know you have been patiently waiting, so let's get into my first designer find of the day. And that is Mr. Christian Dior. This was one of the first things I found on like my first trip, because I technically had two different trips because they kicked me out and then I had to come back. Um, this is absolutely vintage. I do not know what the size is. It looks fairly large. And this, if I had to guess, would be like a sleep shirt. Um, however, yeah, because it has like, I don't know if you can see that logo right there on the pocket. It looks like a really fancy um, like pajama set. I did not find the bottom. I looked all around, was hopeful that I would, but I didn't. And um, this tag is completely rubbed off, but it does seem like a satin silky material. I think you could style this to wear in like real life. I don't think you would have to wear this as a sleep set. I don't know, I might try a couple things and see if I can style it for myself. It would be really big, so I'd have to get really creative. Um, but yeah, if you're not following me over on Instagram, it's at Life with Maria Nicole. I've been trying to do some more like modeling and styling videos over there. So this one I've got some ideas about. We'll see if any of those work or are complete failures. And if so, you probably will just never see them. So I'm sorry. All right. The next thing I found now, don't freak out. It looks like I bought boxers at the bins, but I don't think I did. I'm still not really sure. These looked interesting and I grabbed the tag and these are intimately free people. So I think they are shorts that are just designed to kind of look like men's boxers, but to be worn by women. Right. Um, and yeah, intimately free people, which is their intimates line. And yeah, they're a size large. They say um, more chill down here on the bottom. I did look them up and I saw some cute like stock photos for them that I should be able to use, but somebody could be super comfortable in those. All right, the next thing I found, I was almost done with like the end of the second trip and I still thought I had a little bit more room. So I was trying to find some more things. Um, I wouldn't necessarily always grab this, but this is Offline by Aerie, which is kind of really the only line I'll pick up from them most of the time. It's a size extra small and it is this cropped, hooded, really, really soft sweater. Um, this was another one I got. I was like, well, if in doubt, I will wear it. So I hadn't really decided if I was going to keep it or not. And I haven't tried it on yet. So TBD on that. I did find a pair of American Eagle, like Y2K, epitome of Y2K, low rise flare denim jeans. And I did end up keeping those because I tried them on and they were super cute. So we'll see if I keep this or resell this. Um, but I like the drop shoulder. It's very soft. I do think if I sell it, I could get $20 out of that. Um, Offline is a pretty, pretty popular brand. All right, I need to talk less and move along a little bit faster. This one is just pretty simple. This is by Lush. It was lightweight and I thought it would be easy to bring home. But again, drop shoulders, just a really kind of flowy, boho, festival looking top. This is in a size medium. And if you ever see Lush, it's sold at Nordstrom. I don't always see the size right here, but the size is normally on the inner tag. So if you have trouble finding it, check there. It might be able to help you out. I have pretty decent Lush selling Lush. It doesn't sell for a ton, but it does usually always sell. Next thing I found, if you've been watching, especially my What Sold videos, this has been maybe my favorite brand recently, which is Chico's. This is Chico's size one. And that is a size US 8 or 10. And it's just this really nice lightweight chiffon. I love finding chiffon when I am putting everything in my suitcase to bring home. 
really nice. I usually list things like that at 28. Look at this pretty little bonnet, this eyelet fabric. I found one of these at the bins in Columbus maybe recently. And I think I'm listing it for like 25, these cute little vintage bonnets. You could use them for a doll or you could use them for a newborn baby. Super cute for like Instagram pictures, newborn pictures would be great for like Holy Communion or christening, but they're so light. I, I couldn't let that go to landfill. It just seemed wrong to let something that precious be thrown away. This was actually one of my favorite finds of the day um, because I hadn't found her stuff before and this is Miss Bryn Walker. So I had seen it in other videos and stuff and this was a sweater honestly that I almost just tossed for some reason. Um, I usually check the labels on like everything but I was getting towards the end of the day. I knew I was running out of time and I decided to, I like tossed it but like grabbed it back and checked the label and I was really glad that I did. So the only problem with this that I remember thinking is there's not another tag in this. So I don't know if it's missing, um, but I don't have a size tag or anything. So I will have to, you know, deduce it based on the measurements, but I do always provide measurements for all of my listings anyway. This is kind of random, but these are Nike dry fit size large men's basketball shorts. And these are, I think they're Purdue. Where is that? Yeah, these are Purdue University. I don't know why, but every single um, men's basketball shorts that I keep finding at the bins sell so quickly. I found some from, pains me to say, University of Michigan, um, and they sold really, really fast and very well. And I then found some from the best team in the land, the Ohio State University Buckeyes, and they sold in 10 minutes. So I, I know Purdue is a smaller school from both of those, but they're still a Big Ten school. Um, sorry if I'm nerding out about college football, um, but we'll try out Purdue. I had some Lululemon luck this day. I grabbed this t-shirt and it felt really nice. There was nothing here, which is usually an indicator guys to keep hunting. And eventually when I kept hunting, I found it right there. If you can see that, don't miss that, especially if your Lulu senses go off you can't find that rip tag, keep looking. Um, so this, all I really know is a men's shirt. I haven't done any more research yet. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find the style name on this or um, the exact size. I'll probably just have to list based on measurements, but men's Lulu tends to do better than women's Lulu. I find that it's not quite as saturated, so hopefully that'll do pretty well. I do have, I think, one more Lulu piece in here, and I will tell you, I found a third piece it was actually like maybe the first or second thing that I found and I was so excited. It was a pair of um, like running athletic shorts, men's, threw it in my cart and then later when I was sorting, I do go through and check the Lulu stuff pretty well because there are so many fakes out there unfortunately. Um, I try to do everything I can to make sure I'm not selling anything in any of my stores that might be counterfeit. Um, so those shorts, when I was giving them my really thorough once over, I, I did, it was my opinion that they were probably counterfeit and I wasn't willing to take the risk. So I ended up tossing them back. Um, the reason on that one that I didn't like it was the, the dot, the Lulu dot. Um, these two little, I don't know how to explain this. When it comes down into those two points, they are very specific shape um, and some of the fakes just are wrong. Once you get to know that Lulu logo, you can tell that they're just a little bit long um, and then it was peeling off just so slightly. So Lulu shouldn't peel, the size dots should never peel, they're really great quality. So I decided not to risk it, don't wanna sell anything fake and I threw that back. All right, a really fun one. This is another one I might do kind of like a styling modeling video. Um, preppy, Y2K, academia, I will use all those keywords. And this is just a little Brandy Melville skirt. Now, Brandy, this says one size. I understand that it's stretchy back here and it can fit a bunch of sizes, but come on. There's still a lot of people that this will not fit. Um, it's not one size, but it would probably fit like an extra small through a large, maybe. Um, but yeah, I might do a little video about that. See if I can get a little schoolgirl preppy look going. This was fun. I forgot I had one more like accessory type thing. Look at this, guys. 
the Super Mario Brothers movie was a big hit recently, so this is a great time to be listing Super Mario stuff. And I loved this. I don't love that it's the Wii Mario Kart, but uh, that's okay. It was light. It's just a little pillowcase. I think either some kid or some grown-up that really likes Super Mario would want this in their room. Um, it is official Nintendo, and it is from 2010. So it is not vintage, unfortunately. I was hoping at first it was. But 2010 is still, you know, quite a while ago. We'll see how that does. I probably expect that to sell over on eBay. All right, here's another skirt. This is from Athleta. I do like selling Athleta, especially when I can get at the bins. Size medium, and it's a tennis skirt. Tennis skirts just do really well. I don't have any listed in my closet right now because they have all sold. I don't know how the striped fabric is going to do, but this does have pockets. It's got the skirt underneath. Um, it's got back pockets, so you could wear this obviously for tennis or for golf. You could just use it as activewear athleisure is a great keyword to put into any of those things okay let's do a couple more and then i see the rest of my luxury finds poking out at the bottom of this bag so we will grab those all right this one was a good find this is john barbados and it is a size large and i have never found john barbados clothes before so this is a men's sweater i have only sold his shoes apparently goodwill wanted um, 483 and you know what this is women's tops so I'm gonna have to verify based on the cut I'm gonna look this might be a women's this might be a men's I'll have to look at the measurements see if I can find a stock photo stuff like that um, and this is a linen cotton blend which made it even even a better find so I'm not sure what I'm gonna list that at since I've never sold his clothing all right, here's a pair of really fun spotted polka dot pants. This is a seersucker fabric, which if you're not familiar with, is kind of like a textured fabric that is often done with cotton. It's got polka dots, obviously. These are J. Crew, and these are the Cafe Capri in a size four. I think this was another one that I was getting towards the end of my day. I wanted to have a few more things. And J. Crew pants, especially like career wear, seem to do pretty well for me. And I thought these would hit a couple different demographics. These would hit like the career wear, but they would also hit like preppy, um, definitely like nautical, like Martha's Vineyard type people. Wear that out on your yacht. I wouldn't know. Okay, one more thing. I forgot, I forgot I got this. I may be regretting it. This is a coach bag. And it, the reason I got it is because like these mini bags, baguettes are really on trend right now. I could just see this selling over on Depop. I like the braided leather and it's got the like chunky buckle, but I don't know if you could tell, it's got some discoloration right here on the front. The lights might be washing it out, but it's got some discoloration that almost just looks like water spots, like it got wet and then it didn't dry properly. So I'm thinking, I'm gonna be able to get all of that out. If I can't get it out, um, since you can mainly only see it when this part is open, I will probably just clean her off and use it myself. I think that would be cute. I think I would like it in spring and summer. And one way or another, we'll get this bag a new life. All right, um, one more before our luxury finds. This is We The Free. I was excited about this, especially because it is a size large. A lot of times when I find free people, it's in the smaller sizes, and I love having all sizes in my closet. And this is just one of those nice, like, thermal, really soft, stretchy, boho, bohemian, festival. Make sure to use all those keywords. Got this nice ruffle kind of trim. That will probably get listed around like 30, but I'll research that specific style. All right, guys, so here are my luxury finds. It would be great if they weren't this, but they are. I found dust bags by Jimmy Choo, Manolo Blahnik. Oh, you can't see that. There you go. And Gucci. So it would be great if I found like a beautiful Gucci coat or something, but that 
that's okay. Um, dust bags will sell. So if you see these, especially in the bins, grab them. Um, because a lot of times people will buy a secondhand bag or want to purchase a gift and they'll want a dust bag to put it in. Um, so definitely worth it. I will say this Manolo one has a little bit of schmutz on it, but when I kind of picked at it in the store, that looks like it's going to come off. So I will make sure it does. I also really liked how large the Jimmy Choo and the Gucci one is. Um, when I looked at these comps, I might be able to get like $50 for these two larger size bags. So I will list it with the full measurements. It looks like from my research, the larger the dust bag, the better it will sell. So yeah, stay tuned to my channel if you wanna see how these do. It's gonna be a another fun little interesting experiment. Um, I am starting to do more and more what sold videos. I will link my recent one right up here if you want to watch that. All right, next one is just kind of a bread and butter find for me. These are some, they are capri length white denim jeans, and these are from Woolrich. You can see that somebody tried to sell these at a garage sale and were unsuccessful. I would have bought these at a garage sale for a dollar, of course. Um, but they are just cotton, cotton jeans, but Woolrich stuff always sells for me. These probably won't sell more than like 20 or $25, um, but I do think they will sell. All right, this was another one that I decided to add in just because I had a little bit more room. This is a, um, I was going to say open front, but it is a button front slouchy patch pocket cardigan from BDG, which is Urban Outfitters. So I will list it as BDG Urban Outfitters. I'll usually also put UO somewhere in the either the title description or the listing. Um, in case somebody types in UO into the search bar, um, I want my listing to pop up. This is a size small. And yeah, I do like selling cardigans. They're nice transitional pieces from like winter to spring and then into fall and you know, all those things. Like you can wear them in basically every season, especially if you're like me and you have a really, really cold office. A lot of people need those types of things year round. All right, this is another project piece, which I probably shouldn't have gotten, but it should be an easy project piece. This is, if you can see, this is Zaya, which is Z-Y-I-A. It is a multi-level marketing company. So if you're familiar with MLMs, you have to buy their products through specific distributors. And a lot of people that might not necessarily want to sign up to be either a distributor themselves or a customer through the company might go over to the secondhand market to look for their products. So the reason these are kind of um, a project is because they're a little bit fuzzy. They definitely need like a wash and a lint roll and they are going to need a little bit of deep hilling. But I think the deep hilling should be easy when I looked at it. I will usually avoid things that are not gonna come out looking almost perfect after I deep hill, as long as I notice it in advance. Um, but these I really do think will come out. Um, so we're gonna find that out. And these are a size large. All right, I have one more Madewell piece here, and this is size medium. This is a nice, like, it's actually not chambray. I'll probably, like, put chambray in the description, but this is actually a really light denim, um, but it's lightweight. It's very soft. It's got roll tab sleeves on it, and these are great to have. Um, I would probably wear this, like, open or mostly open maybe tucked in or tied they're really great for layering again you could this would be super cute over like a little dress i would absolutely love that that's probably how i would wear it with like a fitted dress have this open you'd have a cute little bag so maybe um like chunky western looking heels anything with this you want to make sure to put all those titles in so rodeo western southwestern um cowboy cowgirl Fill up those keywords, try to get as much traffic into that listing as you can. All right, another one from my favorite brand I mentioned earlier. This is Chico's, this is Zenergy by Chico's, which is kind of like their active-ish line, but I don't always see active when I look at all these pieces. I think it's just supposed to be like comfy. It's less career wear and more like everyday wear, maybe would be a better way of explaining it. But this has this beautiful faux fur, and guys, this is so soft. Like, I just want to lay down and take a nap in it, which is kind of strange. But it zips down the front, and then it has the hidden zipper with the snaps closure. That for Chico's. Chico's I normally list on Poshmark at 28 on eBay for $24.99. I don't know. That's just how I do it. And then something like that I'll probably list for like $30, $32, maybe up to $35 once I look at comps. 
but it typically always sells between that like 20 and $30 mark. All right, here is Texture and Thread from Madewell, which is just this kind of gauzy black tie front wrap top. Um, it is a true wrap, so it snaps right here, and if you untie that, it comes all the way undone, um, which I think is more desired than faux wrap, but who knows, that's just me. That's pretty cute. It might be a little large on me, but I might try to wear that first. We found a Zara piece, but this is the new tag Zara, which is what I try to target. And it's just kind of a basic blouse. But it's oversized and boxy and boho, which are all good. I'll probably put lag and look into the keyword as well. It does have like a flyaway bottom here that you could have as a flyaway, or I think it's intended. Hopefully I'll find a stock photo. But if you can see that, it's intended, I believe, to be a tie front like that, which is probably how I will put it in the pictures. That is a size medium. All right, guys, we're down to our last two things. This one is the only new with tags item that I purchased. This is Lauren Ralph Lauren dress and this still has the tag on it now i believe this tag is vintage but i'll probably not necessarily like target people that are looking for vintage because this is just a stretch ponty knit um career dress and it's it's still like it's so classic that it's still in style it's not like i'm trying to target the vintage people it's got a slit right here. It's got rouging on the sides, color blocking on the top. So if I'm selling a piece that's vintage, and in this case dead stock, because it still has the original tag on it, um, I'll try to be drawing the vintage people in that are looking to shop vintage, um, either for their own boutique stores or to wear or as a costume or something like that. This, I'm just looking for that woman that wants something nice for her career. I don't think she's looking for vintage, so I'll just list this normal. I might put vintage as a keyword. I'm certainly not trying to hide that it's vintage, but this retailed for $124. And since it is, I believe, vintage, that retailed for that, you know, 20 some years ago. Um, but it is a size 14, and I bet I'll get above $30 for that, hopefully. Um, definitely between 30 and 50, most likely. And then here, guys, is my last pair of Lulu. Again, these felt really nice. And this, right there, that's how I knew to keep looking. So I look, look, look. First place I normally look is on the bottom. Pant legs. And right here, you can see it. There's that Lululemon logo. So this with the box around it is an indicator that it is men's. Not all men's look like that. So just because it's not like that doesn't mean it's not men's. But if it does have that, it won't be women's as of at least right now in spring of 2023. Um, so this one, again, I checked over really well. I found all three Lulu pieces in different bins in different times. So I don't think they were from the same person as the one that I thought was counterfeit. And... These I still need to look up, but I believe the stitching right there might be an indicator of the size, if I've seen things correctly, but I need to look that up. These are just some really, really nice sweatpants, stretch joggers, um, and I think those will do well. The last pair of Lululemon pants I sold, sold for $45 um, in just a few weeks. They were really, really nice. They still had like the rip tag in them. I think they were unworn. I think they were new without tags. I didn't know that for sure, so I didn't list them that way. Um, but I found those at a Goodwill retail on a new rack right first thing when I walked in. It's the first thing I found. I was like, it's gonna be a good day, um, and it was. All right, guys, that is my Vince haul from the St. Louis, Missouri Vince location. Um, I think I found some good things. I really am excited about those dust bags and just the fact that I found four kind of designer luxury pieces, even if they were not like absolute bangers it still made me pretty excited to bring home all of those in my bag as well as some lululemon um i found free people i found madewell i found coach i found michael kors so even though it's a small haul i think it's a mighty haul that i'm going to do pretty well with but now i have to get it all inventoried photographed listed put away and all of those 
fun things that are associated with reselling. I hope you've been working, maybe you've been doing photographs or maybe you've been listing, maybe, or maybe you just like seeing the fashion and you're not a reseller. And if so, I'm so excited that you're here. Let me know down in the comments. Um, I love interacting with you guys. Um, I do respond to a lot of my comments as much as I can. Um, and I'd love to talk to you guys. So I hope you have a great night, morning, day, evening, whatever time it is. As always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I have lots of fun content up and coming. If you like thrifting videos, styling, reselling, fashion, this is the place for you. Thanks guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye.